Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor of itbusiness.ca, and I'm at the Adobe Summit. With me, I have Martin Bergji. He's a product manager here at Adobe. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hi. And you're, you're showing us the new product, Adobe Screens, which is a new capability integrated to the Adobe Experience Manager. So what does it do? So AM Screens is an add-on for the Experience Manager, and it helps you to bring your experience to all kind of screens like we see in the background, big screens in store or, or any other screens for a retail scenario like the small screens you see if you want to learn more about products. And you can send content, create content within the Experience Manager. Yeah, it was an interesting idea. In the keynote, they sort of had this demo where a customer would walk into the store, they've done their research themselves, maybe in a mobile app, and then they can put it on the screen uh, for everybody to see. So I guess the idea is continuing the digital experience when you get into the store. Absolutely. I think uh, what we want to create is a seamless experience across all channels, whether you're on your mobile device or on your desktop browser or in store. And I mean, with all the technologies uh, that is available now, li like beacons, we know who is in front of the screen and we can create a personalized experience just for that person. And I understand Adobe actually developed this product with one of its customers who is looking for this capability, Under Armour. Can you tell me about that? Exactly. So Under Armour, if they want to create a new product collection, before that they had to print out all the small new products and they had that on a big big wall in the back and they arranged those uh, small post-its until they thought, well, that's the catalog we would like to have. Now, with the Adobe uh, Screens technology, they have that interactive on a big screen and they can like flick products around and create those pages in an, in, in an interactive way. Right, so that's great. There's two aspects to the solution then, isn't there? There's the customer facing one, and then there's the one that my staff can create to actually make customer experiences. Absolutely, that's correct. And the best thing is that it's connected to the creative cloud and to the marketing cloud. So if the creative starts, creating the new product line, they just have to save that in, let's say, Photoshop, and then it's immediately available here in the marketing cloud with screens, and the, the product managers can just take the content, the product, and create those layouts they're looking for. Okay, and let's explain a little bit about how these screens are so smart. I mean, how do they, how do they know uh, what customers in the store, what they want? I understand there's some sort of Bluetooth technology used. Well, I mean, that, that's really up to you. We, we support all kind of sensors, like the, the iBeacon, the Bluetooth technology that uh, recognizes if some, somebody is close to the screen, but also think about like camera sensors. You can use camera sensors for all kind of analytic uh, analytic reasons to, to find out who is looking at my screen. Is that a male? Is this a female? What uh, age group does that person belong to? Or, or a microphone, all kinds of sensor. And then you can use the information, of course, to create a personalized experience. Or uh, the most obvious case is if you have a loyalty app on your device, so you register as a, a, a user on that device, you get close to the screen, then we know person A stands in front of the screen and we can use the information. Let's say if you know something about your order history, we can use the information to show, oh, you, you're a bike owner, you bought a bike like last month, let's show some bike accessories to you. Ah, so interesting. So it sounds like Adobe Screens is going to be a great way for uh, retail marketers to try and carry forward that interactive experience with their customers once they come into the bricks and mortar location. And for the rest of us, I guess it'll just be uh, an interesting way that we can see our personalized uh, marketing delivered to us in store and through mobile apps. Absolutely. And I think uh, what we have learned over the past year is that a physical store that's not it. It's just another channel for us and you have to bring in the channel into all your digital channels and you have to share information, analytics and, the info and all kind of uh, data between those channels. Martin, thanks so much for telling me all about this today. So for more coverage of Adobe Summit, check out itbusiness.ca. Again, I'm Brian Jackson.